Hey, welcome back to the Big Ranch Show. As always, thank you for joining me. If you could, hit the subscribe button down below. Let's get right to it. On the agenda today, the hypocrisy of gun rights and self-defense in this country. You know, we've had a number of people who have, over the recent last few years, from George Zimmerman to a guy not that long ago in a parking lot who gunned down a guy because he simply feared for his life. And these people are allowed to walk scot-free. With no blemish on their record. Why? Because they feared for their lives. Self-defense, right? And in a lot of ways, sometimes, you know, in self-defense, in actual self-defense, I understand. If someone has a knife or a gun and they're trying to kill you with it, it's probably better you get them before they get you. But in a lot of these cases, these men, they have nothing to fear. A lot of times, they get off scot-free simply by claiming that they feared for their life. Even if video footage so shows that it's not the case. Let's take the case of Centoya Brown. 16 years old, forced into prostitution. A man buy, he basically buys her. So not only is he breaking the law for prostitution, he's also breaking the law by having sex with a minor. But we'll leave that out of this for the moment, right? Girl is taken back to the man's apart or house. During the night, she ends up feeling that he is going to kill her as he reaches under the bed for what she thinks is a weapon. And so she reaches in her pistol and shoots him before he can kill her. 16-year-old girl, fearing for her life, shoots a man who she thinks is trying to kill her. She is charged with capital murder and sentenced to 60 years in prison. See the problem? Woman, this girl was feared for her life. She shot a man who she thought was going to kill her, and she gets sentenced to 60 years in prison. She has tried, you know, they tried clemency. Um, the board, the parole board didn't, didn't see it that way. They didn't want to do it that way. They didn't want to give her clemency. They didn't want to let her, you know, reverse what anything. Appeals courts have, have upheld it. And now up, appeals court, the tech, the Tennessee Supreme Court has upheld it saying she has to serve at least 51 years of that 60 year sentence. She was sentenced in 2004 for the shooting. Why is it? That certain people can say, just tell the police they fear for their lives and they're fine. But certain people, as, as some would determine them undesirables, you know, why are they seen as lesser? Why are they not allowed to defend themselves? Why is a woman or a female or a girl, teenage girl, who is forced into prostitution not allowed to protect herself? Should the rights not be equal? Either way you go, she's an American citizen. We all should have the same damn rights, right? Well, apparently, that's not the case. Even down in Florida, there was a woman a few years ago who got 20 years in prison right around the time George Zimmerman got off for killing Trayvon Martin. And she went to jail. It was a black woman. Went to jail. For 20 years was her sentence for discharging a firearm in a reckless manner. What was her reckless manner? Her husband, her estranged husband, was trying to kill her. She did not shoot him. She did not point the weapon at him. But she fired the firearm to scare him away. She got 20 years. George Zimmerman got nothing. Most of the people that do these things and claim um, self-defense get nothing. Keep that in mind.
when you hear about the Centoya Brown case. Something needs to be done here. This isn't right. I hope it goes to the Supreme Court. I hope they overturn it. But we'll see what happens. But anyhow, have a great day. This has been the Big Ranch Show. I've been your host, Jacob Keck, and I'll see you down the road.